Hi guys, today we're going to do a little course on special Scottish expressions that you really only hear in Scotland and they almost don't make any sense at all outside Scotland. So what are these special terms? They're very expressive actually, Scottish and particularly down in Glasgow, it's a beautiful language and we're going to give a guide now to these little words and expressions that you will hear Glasgow people especially and lots of other Scottish people say and it will help you to express yourself more clearly, by the way, down here. Act it, as in, dinny act it. That which means, don't act it. And that is where the person speaking believes that the person listening is deliberately behaving in uh, an obscure or obtuse manner in order to confuse. For example, if the police pull you over outside Govan and you are wearing a very short skirt and high heels, and they think you are a lady of the night and you've been drinking 12 pints of vodka that day and you say, I'm just on the way home, they could say to you, aye, you're clearly a lady of the night or a prostitute, dinny act it. That means don't lie to us or pretend that you're somebody or doing something else. Amorni, Amorni. This is a statement of denial. If someone makes an allegation towards you, it really means I am not. In Glasgow, it is very common. So the policeman pulls you over for being drunk in your car. Say, you are driving this car intoxicated. You would reply, I'm on me. Hey, you, are you pushed? I'm on me. Which means I am not. I'm on me. At pish, at pish. That means it's not very good. Or I am sad or disappointed about that. I bought uh, this big box of stuff from eBay. Oh, look at that. At pish, at pish. Offy peely wally, offy peely wally. That is if someone is very peely wally or very white. Scottish people do not see a lot of sunshine. Therefore, a lot of them will be found, especially with their legs, looking off a peely wally. I walked down Sucky Hall Street and you could see all these bampots with their jeans off. They were doing to their shorts and they were off a peely wally. Orun rehuses. Orun rehuses. This means that you've had to go up and down everywhere normally looking for someone. You get home at midnight, your parents are worried about where you were and your mother shouts to you, where the hell have you been? Your father's been looking all around the houses for you. That means all around everywhere. All around the houses. You try it. All around the houses. I my auntie. I my auntie. This is what someone says if they don't really believe what you're saying. Hey, I'm off to university this month and I'm not going to try any drugs at all. I'm a auntie. I'm a auntie. Gies peace. I'm a auntie. That's like saying I write. Bahid. Bahid. That's a derogatory or pejorative expression that you make to someone with an overpronounced sense of their own importance. Aye, do you see him coming in here like he was the big high hygiene? What a bohead! Because you've got a head like a ball. Your head becomes overinflated because you've got a massive sense of your own importance. Get out of here, you bohead! We you ken your fake govern. I can't your feather. You're a big bohead. Backa. Backa. This is used almost purely for temporal expressions relating to time. And it is a general idea that something is just after an o'clock, for example, four o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock. Hey, you want to meet us down the pub later? Aye, when will you be there? Oh, I don't know, the back of five. If we got there at five past five, that would be okay. If we got there at 15 minutes past five, that's okay too. That's the back of five. A rough time after the hour. I'll see you at the back of five. Bye. 
Baltic, Baltic. Something is Baltic if it's really, really cold, because the Baltic area is really cold. But if you've gone out in very cold weather in Glasgow and someone says, what was it like out there? The common response would be, oh, it was Baltic. Should have brought my jacket. It was pure Baltic. Barney, Barney. This is an expression that means a bit of bother or a fight. Oh, I went doing the tune, but I couldn't get into the nightclub because there was a big Barney going on outside. It means there was a bit of a fight, an argument, a heated discussion, a bit of a Barney. Not knives or anything, but certainly a vicious argument, maybe a bit of punching. Ball bag. This literally means a man's scrotum, but it is used as a generic term of abuse. Ah, oh, get out of here, you big ball bag. We've got no time for you. We can get your own money, you big ball bag. It's used very commonly in Glasgow and has made its way around the rest of Scotland. Beezer. Are you a beezer? This is an expression of joy that comes with an unexpected pleasure or success. I put a pound on the lottery and only went and won £25.50. Are you a beezer? Yeah, bees are very common, especially with younger people around the Glasgow area, but all over Scotland as well. Ah, yeah, big bees are. I'm so happy. Yeah, big bees are. Similar word is belter. If it's very, very good. I bought a new motor. What's it like? Oh, come and see it. Oh, what a belter. That is beautiful. What a belter. Ben Hauker. Ben Hauker. Ben Hauker is someone that goes rummaging around in bins to find stuff for their own personal use. I was walking down Sucky Hall Street and I see this bin hooker poking around in the bin and he pulled out a bloody brolly, a big umbrella, and he took it home, obviously to fix it for himself. What a bin hooker. Another word like that is midgey raker. That is someone that is raking around in the bins where there are lots of wee midges, flies. So you can see how the expression comes about. A midgey raker or a bin hooker. Blether, blether. Blether is to have a wee gossip or a wee chat, idle chit chat. Come on, ruin my house, we'll have a wee blether. I come round the back of five, we'll have a wee blether. Maggie will be there. It'll be pure pure gallus, by the way. Aye, she's got a good good banter. Let's have a blether. Bluttered. Bluttered is a common expression, especially in the southwest, for drunk. Oh, aye, we were drinking till the wee hours. Aye, the wee hours and uh, oh, me and Maggie, totally bluttered, paralytic, off her head, stocious, bluttered, that is drunk. Bobby, Bobby, this is a slightly pejorative expression that means a man's willy. Hey, oh, he had the biggest Bobby I'd ever seen, by the way. Jam sandwich, jam sandwich is not what you think it is. In fact, Someone ordering a jam sandwich would ask for a jam, a piece of jam. Jam sandwich, when it is said, that means a police car. You'd probably even say a police cars now, even though they don't look like jam sandwiches. But in the Thatcher era, they did look like jam, like jam sandwiches because they were white, white, and then a big red stripe in the middle. They looked like a jam sandwich. Hey, better get out of here. Quick, go to the windy. The jam, I've seen a jam sandwich at the bottom of the clothes. Jam sa quick back jam sandwich. Edgy. Boggin. Boggin. Very commonly used expression. It means it's not very good or it's smelly or you, you don't like it. I do you want a bit of my piece? Do you want a bit of my sandwich? Oh no man, that's pure bogging. That's bogging by the way. It's minging. Get it out of here. It's bogging. Oh, it smells and it's Looks disgusting. Oh, that's bogging. Did you find it in a bin? Are you a midgey raker? Boo to a goose. Boo to a goose. That's if someone's mild mannered. Very common expression. You wouldn't say, oh, he's quiet or he's mild mannered. Especially if you're denying that someone could have done something. What? Bobby with a gun. Up the barras. No, he wouldn't say boo to a goose. He wouldn't say boo to a goose. Boo to a goose. Boo to a goose. 
You'd be justified in saying boo to a goose, unless you are a really quiet person, in which case you'd be afraid. So you're a quiet, afraid, gentle, calm person. You wouldn't say boo to a goose. Boofing. Boofing. If something is disgusting or really, really smelly, you would say boofing. Oh, it's a bit like bogging, but really, really nasty. I went into his bedroom and he'd been, he'd puked all over the floor. Eh, flare. It was minging in there. It was pure boofing. It's almost like it makes you sick. Boofing. Brew. Brew. Are you coming down the tune? You get any money? No, I can't need money, man. I'm skin. I'm on the brew. On the brew means you're claiming unemployment benefit. And the brew is the place you go to, the unemployment exchange. Hey, you better, you better not do any painting jobs while you're on the brew. The police will catch you. Are you on the brew? Well, I'll come down the pub with you later, but I can't afford much, so I'll have a, a wee bucky before we go out. Right, bring a bottle of bucky. Bucky is buckfast. It's a tonic wine and it's drank by a lot of Neds, especially in the alleyways and especially by underage people. I found four bottles of Bucky down there and some wacky backy. By the way, this is a very common surname you'll hear in Glasgow because it comes on the end of every expression, including people's names. Hey, pleased to meet you. I'm Jimmy, by the way. Sounds like a surname because you hear it all the time. Hi. All right, Hen, how are you doing? What's your name? I'm Sally, by the way. By the way, comes in the end of about half of all Scottish, especially Glasgow expressions. Oh, that's pure minging, by the way. You could say the sentence without it, but why not just add it and sound cheery? Hi, hi, oh man, I went down to Mallorca, full of Glasgow people, and they're all peely wally, by the way. By the way, use it all the time and you will sound Scottish. Chib. Chib. That's a way of fighting someone normally with a weapon, maybe a hammer or a bottle. Oh my, where did, where did the cut from? Why have you got a cut on your face? You're all smashed up. I know. I went down to a party, went into a pub, and some geezer came up and chibbed me straight away. Chib. Meaning hit someone normally in the face or in the chest with an implement, maybe a glass, a bottle, a hammer, or a big stick. You come near me again, pal, and I'm going to pure chib you. That means it's used very commonly as an expression. Do you want chibbed? And you means you'll come away very injured from this weapon. If someone says that to you, turn and run. You're going to be hit badly. A boy was chibbed earlier down the toll booth by an angry Ned with a hammer. Chibbed. Chuchter. Chuchter. Oh man, what have you come in here dressed like that for with your big heel and dress and your fancy kilt? You look like a tuchter with your straw coming out of your hat. Tuchter is a country bumpkin. It's someone from the country, normally Aberdeen, and it's very derogatory, really. Someone calls you a tuchter, that's an insult. That, you, you'll look to get chibbed if you, if you say, call someone a tuchter. It's not funny. Chuffed, chuffed. Oh man, I checked my exam results. I got one O level in English. It was a C, but I was pure chuffed. Chuffed means you're very proud of yourself. You're very pleased with yourself. Something's come off in your favor. Put a pound in the lottery. I won 12 pounds 50. Pure chuffed. Clatty. Oh, I met this girl online, match.com. Went down to Paisley to see her. Oh, she was totally clatty. Ah, you could see like, like bits of mud in her skirt. Ah, oh, clatty minger. Clatty means unkempt, not washed, dirty. Clipe, that's to tell on someone or to grass. Look, you can come with us, right? We're going to try and rob the bank. But if you clipe on us, we're going to chib you. You understand? Was that you that cliped on us to the polis? Clipe. To, 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 to grasp, to inform on someone, a yoper, a pure clipe to us. Coupon, coupon, 
I mean, your face. Hey, you look awfully down. I can see it in your coupon. Oh man, he had the most minging coupon I'd ever seen. It's your face, your visage. Coup. That is a very bad term for a rubbish dump or something that looks very, very minging. I went up to Johnny's room to find his Fitba to give it to his brother and the place is pure. It's a coup. Need to go up there and fix it. It can also be a verb. If you knock something over, did you just count my pint? Yeah, bloody bam pot. Dancer, pure dancer. That's an expression of glee when you're really pleased at an outcome or you're really happy about something. I, well, I applied for 15 jobs and knew what? I got a bloody letter today saying they'll accept me down the shipyard. I'll work part time and the other time I'll go on the brew. Yeah, pure dancer. Dancer! You want it? Do lally. Do lally. If someone's do lally, they're looking a bit mad. He went down, drove his car down Sucky Hall Street, then put it straight into a lamppost. The cop pulled us, pulled him out of the motor, held him up, and he was standing there looking pure do lally. Means he's looking out of it, a bit mad, spaced out. Do lally. Stupid. <sighs> totally do lally. I can't get a word of sense out of you. I've been talking to you for half an hour and you're barely replying. You're, you're pure do lally. Dry your eyes. Very common expression used for someone that is moaning unnecessarily or is looking for sympathy when they don't really deserve it. Celtic won 3 0. Dundee were played shite. Oh man, we're going to be out of the cup now. Oh, dry your eyes. It's not showing any sympathy to a person that really is looking for it. Oh, dry your eyes. Oh man, I hurt my, my hurt my toe on the on the on the bus stop. And I'm, I, I, oh, dry your eyes. Dry your eyes. Edgy, edgy, very commonly used, especially in Glasgow, especially in Glasgow schools. Edgy, edgy, magister, edgy. We Bob. That means that. You think there's a teacher there, maybe, or you think you're on the lookout. So you're standing in a lane. You're trying to break into someone's house. You're there with your accomplice, and the police show up down at the bottom of the other lane. He would shout universally, "Edgy, edgy, polis, edgy." It actually comes from the Latin "ecce," meaning "lo" or "behold." Hey, see, we're multicultural in Scotland. Edgy. Dom says, "Edgy, you pay attention." Finian. Finian, that is the word that people that are normally Protestants say about Catholic people. He's a Finian. And the expression that Finians make of people that are Ranger supporters is orange men or something even worse. I the wee orange feet. That's how they talk about each other. It's very derogatory. If you say to someone, Oh, you're a Finian, they're not going to take it that well. It's actually pejorative. Don't say it. Fair. Fair. That means quite or very. Oh, I was fair puggled about why he'd asked me that. Or it can mean a fair, as in a fairground. Aye, the fair's coming to town. It's a traveller. One of these travels come into town. They set up the big waltzers and all these big arcade machines in your tune called a fair. Also means the start of the holidays in Glasgow, either Glasgow fair, aye, it's when you go off to Spain or somewhere like that. Fisticuffs, that's if you start a fight with someone. Aye, well I just went in for a quick pint but someone starts the fisticuffs on me so I chipped them. Fusty, fusty, if something's fusty it means that it's dank or smelly. Oh, I've left my I left my sports equipment in the bottom of my bag for three weeks now. I pulled it out. It was all pure fusty. Fusty. Oh, smelly. Smelly mouldy. Gallus. That means if something is really good. It's an adjective. Oh, bought this massive bag of chips from doing the tour. I was starving, but oh, it was gallus. Eh? Tons of vinegar on it. Gallus. Really nice. Wouldn't mean beautiful, but it would mean something you're really pleased about. Oh, it's gallus.
Oh, Gallus. I got a new motor today. Runs 12 month MOT on it. Gallus. Go on yourself. That's a word of encouragement. Generally shouted out to people at random. So, uh, your mate's getting in a fight with someone and uh, you don't know if he's going to make it or not, but you want to encourage him. Go on yourself, big man. Go on yourself. Shout it out. A word of encouragement. Say someone, Paul Gascoigne, maybe picked up the ball 20 yards from the goal and you were shouting at the screen. Go on yourself, wee man. Go on yourself. Put it in the back of the net. Go on yourself. Ginger. Ginger. That's a carbonated soft drink. They don't say limeade. They say, give a drink of your ginger. It doesn't have to be a ginger drink. Any drink, any soft carbonated drink is ginger. Glasgow kiss. Glasgow, <coughs> Glasgow kiss when you headbutt someone. Very common way of fighting someone, especially starting a fight, is just to walk up to them and put your forehead in their forehead or nose. Hurts your forehead, but hurts their forehead or nose even more because you're the aggressor. Call a Glasgow kiss. Might get you chipped. It'll also hurt the other person. Gobshite. Gobshite is a pejorative expression to someone that's talking a load of rubbish normally but someone you don't really like i went down sucky hall street turned it now <clears throat> went all the way down to guile street and there were these three three wee gobshites talking at us so we just threw our ginger bottles at them and ran into mcdonald's gub gub is your mouth gub so we turned out, saw three of the polis, and one of them said, Oi, come here, you wee fiend, you bastard. And I said, Shut your gub, you wee bawheed. Shut your gub. A slang expression for mouth. Hod. Hod means to hold. Hod my jacket a moment. Hod my jacket a minute. I'm going to go and chip that wee guy. Hod. Hod it. Hod it while I wait. Go on yourself, you man. I hold it. I'll go. Hold. Hold. Hee haw. That means nothing. <sighs> Went down. Put three pounds on the in the bookies, on the GGs, on the horses. Guess what I won? Guess what I won? Guess what I won? I hee haw. Hee haw. Oh, murdered me, man. I won. Hee haw. Nothing. Hee haw. Nothing. High Hegens. High Hegens. High Hegens are the bosses. Look, if you don't get me five new towels for my room and for the bathroom, I want to speak to the High Hegen. High Hegen. The person in charge. Hochen. Hoaching. Something's hoaching if it's covered in small little beasts. Like, I left my jacket out when I was round about the Highland Heelands. We're off for a walk round the Heelands. Pulled my jacket out of that bag. And it was pure hoaching. Midges. Midges everywhere. Hoaching. Covered in small insects. Or some little small creature. Hoaching. Poofing. Poofing. Is something smelling really bad? Oh, sat beside this old been midday raker in the bus. Oh, pure hoofing. Stinking, man. Hoofing. Particularly smelly. Humdinger. That means something, that if it's off note or if it's exceptional. I went down. Guy chibbed me. Went into the hospital. Saw it in the mirror. Big bump in my forehead. Pure humdinger. Exceptional. It's a right, it's a humdinger. Oh, you got a humdinger there, wee man. Something's really notable. Hun, hun. That's the way most people refer to people that support Glasgow Rangers or someone that's Protestant. I 
Well, there were Celtic fans in there, a bunch of Fenians, and then the Huns came in, and it was just a big, it all kicked off. Aye, just like blood everywhere. Aye, it was horrible. Huns. Hunners! That is Scottish for hundreds. Especially when it's used collectively for a lot of things being there. We thought there would be two or three women in that pub. I tell you, there were hunters. It might actually only be 90 or 80, but hunters means lots. Could be hundreds. But it's not what you, you're not trying to say hundreds, you're saying lots. <gasps> there were hunters there! Hunters! I get you hunters, what are you talking about? Isn't he? Isn't he? That's how you say it is not in Scotland, especially Glasgow. That motor you sold me is dead. It doesn't work. Won't start. It's a pile of crap. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. You'd never say it isn't. You would always say it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Don't say that. You say it isn't. It isn't. It isn't mine. Aye, it is. Talking shite. No, it isn't. 